and welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Meme Tier Monday. That's right, we got some uh, really fun decks to play today. Wins will be hard to come by. They always are on Meme Tier Monday, but we're going to have some fun. We're starting with Poros. That was a request we had on the YouTube channel for Meme Tier Monday. If you got requests that you want me to play for next week, feel free to uh, throw them down there in the comments. I always want to play what you guys want to see. Uh, we're going to try out some Poros here to try to make the Poros work. We're going to pair the Poros with Ash and have some Frostbite stuff and Rhyme Fang Wolf uh, as our Ash package. Um, but yeah, we're going with, you know, like a whole bunch of one drop Poros, Poro Herder, Professor Von Yip to be able to grow them. Um, we got Progress Day since we have a whole lot of one mana cost cards so that we can refill our hand. We got a couple of Progress Days because, you know, we got Daring Poro, Lonely Poro um in here and then uh we have heart of the fluffed which we whenever we play this we can combine all of our poros into fluffed of the poros it gains their stats and keywords so preferably for heart of the fluffed <laughs> that's just fun to say we would like to have the the daring poro in play uh so it can be elusive and then you know we eat it up and uh you know make this thing elusive but maybe we can have like that plus one other um, Poro in play, and maybe they're both three threes because of Professor Von Yip. And so then we can get two th three threes, and so this can be a 10 power um, elusive Poro. That would be nice. Um, we got the Poro snacks. So we got uh, what did I just do? I just put something in here Alpha Wow Claw. You can get out of here. So we got a lot of the Poros. Um, didn't go Braum. Really, like, I, I wanted to play Braum also in the deck. And with Braum and with uh, Braum and Take Heart, you know, I want to play those two also. But that just, you know, that got us to, like, 46 cards. And I was, like, trying, I was struggling cutting things down. And so I decided just to cut the Braum package. The only Poro we're not going with. But this is the mighty Poro to, you know, fit in the Rhyme Fang Wolf. Um, hoping that still works out just fine. All right, but here we go. What's up, Rex? We got a Ash, Poros. That's our first deck. All right, what's our loadout? Hex Tech Lab? Now let's go to the Iceborne Peak. And obviously we need our Poro. Here we go. All right, meme tier Monday. Kick it off. Kick it off. They don't even want to. They don't even want to pair us. Our deck's too good. We can't even find a match. They're like, this, this deck's too good. Nobody wants to play this. Whoops. Sorry about that. Callista Trindamir. We got Trindamir later on, aka Trindamim. We got that. Uh, we got that later on. Um, I guess we get rid of Poro Herder. Uh, get rid of this. If we don't draw a Poro, this is going to be pretty bad, but hopefully we draw a Poro. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, no. Those two cards didn't work out. If I knew that those were going to be our top two cards, we'd mulligan a little bit more. Come on, Poro. Oh, no. Because we do need a Poro first before we play the Poro Herder. Yay! All right. Um, they may just kill it if I play it right now. Oh, eh, well. Say so we could wait till after Von Yip or after Poro. Or like, you know, we could wait on it. I don't know. They just passed. It's like one damage. No, we, we do this. Yeah. 
Should have just passed back. I really thought about just passing back and ending the turn. Definitely thought about just ending the turn. But I decided that I should use, you know, that three mana. We'd still bank two more. Heart of the Fluff. Quite right, quite right. All right, so I'll have Professor Von Yip, and then we'll play our Lonely Poro. Get a new one, the Affectionate Poro. not gonna attack I think I think again they were waiting for me to do my attacks and then they were gonna be doing a bunch of stuff after I attacked but I think instead I'd rather them just waste all of that mana um let's see so I have eight potentially So can you play Heart of the Puffed? Oh no! Wow, they got me. Wow, they really got me. Oh, uh, I, yeah, my plays were not good against Ruination at all. They were not good against Ruination at all. Um, dang. Well, that's too bad. on my four poros. My four poros. The elusive? Okay. Okay. So they did nothing again. They're they're just setting up for another um ruination, aren't they? That's what it sure feels like. Man, if they if they don't have ruination, if they don't have any kind of removal or anything, I could one one turn kill them here. But Wow. 
War Mother's Call? I guess. Different. We have died, then found home. Do not stand in my way. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Dang. I guess it's just game. Just put a rekindler into play, like, at the beginning of their turn, that puts in Callista, that puts in a 10-10 they who endure, like... I guess that's pretty good. My poor, poor, my poor Poros got ruinationed. I was feeling pretty good about that, too, before that ruination. I could have gone for it all, you know, like that turn with that Heart of the Fluffed. Maybe I should have my second one. I was going to, you know, if we survived that attack, that was that was crazy. That was such a great War Mother's Call. Trindamir and Rekindler. Perfect War Mother's Call. All right, so this, this is going to be pretty tough. Spider Karma. Spider Karma is a really, really good deck. And uh, really good against, against uh, you know, creatures. Like, it, it, they can kill creatures really well. Block creatures with all their spiders. This is going to be a tough matchup. Keeping my one drop still after Professor Von. Yep. Hey, Metal World Gaming. We're going Poros today. Start our meme tier Monday off. Did you do any tournaments this weekend? And if so, how'd they go? There we go. Heart of the Fluffed. So we'll, um, you know, we're going to play Professor Von Yips, big one drops, and then Fluffed, combine them all, have a huge elusive creature. The problem is they got a, an elusive blocker. We're going to have a 5-5 five, five elusive, I think... Let's see. Let's see if we get to if we get to act with both of these. If we do, we're playing a big elusive. That's my plan. No, no, no. Where's my elixir of iron? All right. So a three-three elusive, or just a random three-three. I guess we just get the elusive out here. Well, we know it's going to get buffed. Okay. It's not bad. No. Don't kill my stuff. No.
Well, that's not great. Where did that one run off to? I need like a fearsome Poro. Poor Professor Von Yips. Everybody's just hating on Poros these days. Let's go, Fluffed. Hey, say moi. So obviously we just don't want them to have Will of Ionia. You know, don't want them to have a, a bounce bell. <laughs> it's elusive. The elusive 9-7. Just taking it. Wow. Just taking it. Because we can maybe have the challenger, you know, challenge the assassin. Oh, stop having more of those. So if I play a new Heart of the Flop, it will take this one. Unfortunately. Makes a lot more sense to take the karma. Should have just let damage happen. They're willing to pass the damage. I should have just let damage happen. Progress day. Need, need more cards. Okay, we'll take that. So we can level up this Ash. And then make it so their elusive can't block. Why are people just mean? We're playing a Poro deck over here. Relax. Winter, take you.
Yeah, I mean the game the game is over, but I mean they're they're acting like like they accomplished something great by beating Poros with like one of the best tier one decks. I'll keep the Shadow Assassin from blocking this round. I don't want to kill any of these things. I want them just to be able to to have to keep all these things out here. So I don't think it's really possible that they only have you know, units in hand that they don't have spells to play, but if they don't have spells to play, they lose. So I guess I guess that's our that's our best try. Poro that would actually make any difference here. Not really. It would be pretty great if we somehow won this game. Yeah, it was yeah, it was pretty close for a flipped karma and them gaining a million life. Well, it was kind of close. to block with hoping they didn't attack with the karma I have to block with one of these
I don't want Vile Feast to kill my Fluffed. That has, that's like the very worst card in their entire deck. That, that has to be like the worst card in their hand. I wonder why they play that thing. Okay, because they want to sack it to draw two. Could have just sacked the other one. Oh well. Well, we had hope for a little bit. I hope they're proud of themselves for beating Poros with a leveled up Karma. I'm sure, that was tough. Oh, well, GG's. Heart of the Fluffed almost got us there. Almost. It's Draven time. Alright, so there should be Yetis. Um, our Poros are still going to be pretty small against Yetis. Let's keep the Yip and the Daring Poro. We'll shuffle that back for now. Yeah, I'm sure they had another Karma, or they had, or they would have, you know, used like their removal or something, you know, like. Yeah, I guess I could have killed the, the yeah I could have killed that karma that one turn, but with all those cards they had in hand that they weren't playing, I'm sure another one was a another karma because they would not have just passed if they if they didn't have another karma. Need some frostbite stuff. Quite right, quite right. All right, so we need to make large poro, large elusive poro. Ash isn't bad. Three or less power. Well, the good news is Professor Von Yip did everything that he could. Didn't have anything else left to do. Time for the money makers. Well, that's unfortunate. Definitely wanted to get that five five out of here. That's for sure. All right, so Heart of the Fluff will be a 7-7 seven, seven Elusive next turn. Oh, 
Oh, that's true. They could have spinning axed the Yeti. That's that's true. Do need to stay alive. Come out and play. How'd they get all these yetis? Oh, they had the tall tails. cards. One drops do work pretty well progress day, how you can make them cost zero and then play them. So even though like we tapped out for progress day, we didn't actually. <clears throat> I certainly see them taking the Professor Von Yip. Time for the money makers. It's a pretty good flash freeze. Worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Exactly how I wanted it to. GG's. What's up, Poros? Dude, that Heart of the Fluffed was nice because it was a 7 7. So it traded with the Whirling Death and with the 5-5, five five, both of those, and then it became a 4-4 four four that got to, um, you know, kill the Draven with help of a, a Flash Freeze. That Heart of the Fluffed. That was great. And we got to win. All right, we got a win on Meme Tier Monday. Oh no, another Karma deck. Karma will be tough to beat. Okay, you're playing an Ash Elusive deck. Nice. Since I don't face aggro anymore, I'm winning a lot with my version of War Mothers called Tiana. Okay. Triple Harsh Wind, double Cythria. Okay. Nice. So then, I'm guessing, like, what'd you take out from, like, the, the deck that I was playing? I guess, like, the Swiftwing Lancers, probably? Oh yeah, yeah. He took out the two ones, so like those, like those turned into harsh winds. And then what about for the Cythrios?
pretty aggressive hand here. Missed called nothing. Wow, no withering whale. No nothing. A true Falyorian That wasn't the best play. Because I, I did that play thinking I was going to play Ash and then, you know, like attack and then they wouldn't wouldn't be able to challenge and kill my wolf. But now I kind of realize if I play Ash, then they get to Ruination. So maybe that wasn't the best play last turn. Maybe I should have gone with the Poro Herder. I guess we'll go to attacks so they don't get to ruination and see if we get to do all sorts of damage. That would be nice. Okay, remove the one cost minion and have a Rosen. Okay. Follow along, little ones. Oh yeah, where are some Poro snacks? Where some Poro snacks. That's what we need. I'm doing great, Storm. How you doing? Doing great. We're playing uh, some real jank today on Mean Tier Monday. And having fun with it. We, we gotta win. So that was awesome. And it was a win against a deck that will bring peace um, to my own whatever the cost. It was a win against the deck I played yesterday. I should should have just gone to zero cost, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's why I should have gone to zero cost, is because of the professor. We have a lot of these daring poros. That's all we got. We got five of them. We drew all three of ours, and then both uh, of like the the other one drop poro that we had made made more of them. <laughs> so we just have five of these daring poros. I wish these people would stop playing. I wish they'd stop playing Shadow Assassin. It's darn to Shadow Assassins. It's 
Yeah, we've drawn five daring poros, but no poro snacks. What's up, Skya? Yeah, we got some poro hype. You can give poros fearsome if, if our one, you know, our one drop makes a random, uh, one mana one one poro from any region, and there is a one, there is one that gives them fearsome. But we didn't hit it. We just hit more and more elusives. Um, we can, like, potentially surprise kill them next turn, you know, like playing Professor Von Yip and then having three elusive three threes. That could be something that could happen. Alright, well, I guess we have to save this so that Thresh doesn't level up and just attack and pull another Karma in. I feel like that would be bad. What's up, Poro Snacks? There you are. Been looking for you. These all could be. So these could all be four fours, but the chance of actually beating Karma with all those cards. And Karma's gonna Karma's gonna level up next turn. It's like the chance of us actually winning this game is so incredibly small. But that's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. Small chance of success. Great, very large chance of satisfaction if we do win. Hmm. Where did that one run off to? Play two Poros along with Professor Von Yip, but I didn't really want to lead with Professor Von Yip. I want them to spend some mana first. They're just passing. Really seems like they're set, trying to set up ruination, right? Like, doesn't that just mean like? Doesn't it seem like that's all they're trying to do, or all they want to do? Quick attack. That doesn't really help. Yeah, basically low win probability Monday. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough call. I think with with that challenge, how they left this thing at two toughness, I think that what their plan is is to level up Karma and have Withering Whale and do two damage to all of my stuff. So trying to beat Withering Whale is kind of difficult. And I guess that I shouldn't be too worried about Ruination because I have another Heart of the Fluff and 
uh, Ruination would get rid of their karma, and that's probably a, a real big deal, getting rid of their karma. One candle for every soul. So I decided to not play around Ruination. And so I, I wish I didn't play the other one mana jubilant thing. I wish I would have just led with the prof Professor. They only get three spells. Did that thing just not double up for some reason? Come on, kill him. Get him. No. Get him. We've learned that it's impossible to kill any person that's playing Karma. It's just impossible. They're at 15. Their Thresh should be leveled up. They... they played it incorrectly before they could could have easily had a leveled up thrash if uh, the last their last thrash so i guess that's good for me is that their thrash is not leveled up but... we just sit back and wait Yeah, I wish I didn't play this jubilant Poro. Wish I would just played the Professor Von Yip and not, not even tried to play around Ruination to begin with. That clears up a little bit of room. I could play another Heart of the Fluffed and have just an absolute huge elusive. Uh, 5, 10, 16. All the world on one arrow. Play this first, see what they do. I mean, they they have Vengeance in their deck. I don't know if they have it in their hand. I don't, I don't know what cards they have in their hand, but... But yeah, they're playing Vengeance. Compassion, not anger, drives to war. doesn't seem like a, a person that has vengeance in their hands.
here's the tough here's the tough question. That was a tough question, is if they were just planning on more ruinations. Lefty. Get him. If they were planning on just like playing stuff, I was going to be able to, like, I was going to be able to kill him with Harsh Winds, Frostbiting two enemies, and then, uh, you know, Ash attack, Frostbite another. We would have leveled up Ash. I think that was worth going for. Get him! Use! Part of the fluff. You can't hold back some good poros. Yo, we bit we beat two. Leveled up karma. It's had no business. Should not have won that game, but we did. Opponent definitely had the cards to win that. Yes, two and two. Meme tier Monday. GG's. Oh, that was great. That was great. Well, can we get a winning record with Poros? Can we get a winning record with Poros? I think, hmm. I kind of want to keep all these cards, and I kind of want to mulligan all the cards also. The only card I know I'm keeping is Elixir of Iron. Yeah, I think the yip. Yep. Yeah, we already had something we wanted to play on turn four. I think I want to like play the Poro Herder on turn four to draw two. Like if I have to choose one of those I can do this. to play, that's good. That's a good draw. Good draw. If it's a fight they want. Play the herder. Just doing this before they play a removal spell. Oh, I guess I should attack with the Poro Herder, shouldn't I? Probably should.
This is going to be a close one. Do 17 next turn with his heart of the flocked? Probably not. Vision is always oh, such a beating. I mean, it's either go all in on, on the heart of the fluff, but I guess that doesn't that doesn't kill them. So my other option is like the Rhyme Fang Wolf Ash, and challenge one of these things. Don't worry, I've read all about this. Just you and me, fish bones. Need more poros. I don't have any more poros. I will unite the frail yard. I mean, so I'm just I'm dead here. I need to kill Jinx. Okay, well I'm really dead. We have five. What do you? The card doesn't even matter. My only hope is drawing, drawing like a harsh winds. That's my hope. Okay, well, now that that hope's gone. Them not having, you know, them having the Jinx die, not having anything, and uh, me drawing a harsh winds, so I didn't have to block. The Legion Grenadier. That was my only hope. But anyway, there we go. Two and three with Ash Poros. I have to say that was probably a success. Yeah, we were we were definitely competitive, and like two of those losses, we came really close uh, to winning. Like even that last game, we honestly weren't that far off. Um, you know, our Heart of the Fluffed would have done a ton of damage. You know, they were still at seventeen, which was the problem, but. You know, we were going to be doing like 11 or 12 damage with it. So it was a pretty close game. Like we were one turn off. Like if we would have been able to survive for one more turn, but we just couldn't. Um, you know, we could have gone that route on that turn six. Um, but yeah, you know, like we were, we were pretty competitive. We had that other Karma deck that we got them down to three. There we go. Yeah, a third progress day would probably be nice. Um, I wouldn't mind a third progress day. wouldn't mind a second flash freeze. I don't really know exactly where to fit those cards, though. Um, hey, Void Rose. But, but yeah, that's, that's uh, Ash, Ash Poros. All right, that's our first meme tier Monday deck.
I think that was a, a success. Let's try some others. We're going to try Catastrophe and try to play, uh, yeah, you know, go for the pursuit of perfection with Catastrophe up next. But those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of the deck and let me know if there's other things you want to see next week for Meme Tier Monday. But thank you so much for watching some Ash Poros and I'll see you for the next video.